What's up guys, welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. New Malefic support, let's try it out. A new high level monster, new level 10. Uh, it kind of increases the, um, the power of the deck. The extra deck summons, I guess. An easy rank 8. Uh, or basically a negation going first, that is. It has the ability to banish or get one of your banished synchros. Uh, send them back to the extra deck and then special summon the same one. So basically here, special summon Stardust Dragon. Um, but yeah, that basically opens up a rank 8 deck seed play. I'm looking at uh, Titanic Galaxy being your two go to card. Um, the deck list you see here uh, seems quite different compared to a regular Malefic deck. A couple of reasons. I want to try out something uh, different compared to, you know, like the, the, the side deck you see here. Like the blue eyes, the regular blue eyes, Malefic blue eyes, the Tradens. Uh, maybe I want to fit in some dangers as well. The, the, like this kind of build I definitely want to try out uh, after this. I mean, this deck definitely has its weaknesses, but definitely has its uh, strengths over the usual build. The problem with Malefics is, is still the same. They are definitely... Uh, super dependent on their field spell they got more support like recent not sure when they got like uh, malefic territory i believe the name is it immediately searches their field spell but problem is, is that i don't really want to run terraforming and i mean the, the field spell is okay malefic world but it doesn't give the deck like immediate uh, pluses immediate searches let like let's say um, invocation the the meltdown the invoked uh, field spell for example or the trickstar field spell so, so I'm a little hesitant to main deck like uh, the terraforming, for example, to increase the chances of opening the field spell. Since I want to have territory, that's much more important. That's why Magician's Souls is in the deck uh, together with Dragma. Dragma helps out because um, it gives the deck some negations during your opponent's turn. That's different between the OCGs that we don't have access to triple skill drain. I mean, Malefic's big beat sticks and the fact that the deck could run triple skill drain makes uh, things much easier. So I was like, okay, I want to try something different and go with Dragma. Okay, why the Dragma again? It gives the deck ability or the ability to interact with your opponent during their turn. I'm looking at the, the big spellcasters, the, what's it called, the Fleur. Basically, monster negation, right? I mean, as, as you saw in the first duel here, first example, that's what I want with the deck. That, that's what I'm aiming towards to with the new deck or with the new card as well. The Paradigm Dragon. Um, again, giving the access to first turn, Titanic Galaxy. Um, a couple of draws. I mean, running Allure of Darkness. Uh, no trade in, because again, the lack of level 8s. But the Magician's Souls also could give you some beneficial draws. It's also a level 1, so you might want to main deck like where Ardo. Currently a one-off here in this particular build. But might drop it if I, obviously, if I'm not running Magician's Souls, that is. But, uh, yeah, well, the, the level 1, Malefic, it's, it's, it's superb. It's, it's very similar to Lone Fire Blossom, I guess. It immediately could, uh, well, it, it brings out that level 2 tuner that immediately opens up a potential Synchro play. But it, it's not for that. The thing is, is that that Synchro play gives you two Malefic cards in your grave. And that makes your uh, selector alive. And as you know, like selector banish two malefics from your graveyard to get two searches from the deck. Like different names. That's powerful, very powerful for the deck. So that, that's also something that I'm aiming towards. To. And Dragma could help with that of, let's say, a foolish burial or something from your extra deck, like a malefic card from your extra deck to the graveyard to well, potentially give you another malefic card in the graveyard to make that selector more life or well, instant life if needed. Um, but yeah, I mean, it gives destruction. It gives the deck somewhat consistency. But I, I maybe I will, I will, as you saw, like the extra deck, I maybe want to uh, force myself or focus a bit more on like rank eight, blue eyes. Keep it simple. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure if I want to keep main decking Ash Blossom, it has been going in and out, but the problem is, is that this deck is so fragile, and um, yeah, I'm not really sure, maybe I want to fit in like Triple Nibiru, you know, whatever, balls to the wall if you're going second, but, um, and that's the problem of the deck, I mean, going second the deck has, has like difficulties to play through negations, like, like even one negation might be enough. Um, a well-timed, well, a blossom not per, well, yeah, a blossom on your, um, your, your level 1. To special summon something, and to, yeah, to special summon your level 2 plus a surge, that definitely hurts. So that's again where the Dragma engine can come into play, and, um, yeah, something like hand traps, mainly Ash Blossom also takes a dump on the trade and build, like, and that's why I'm not running one for one. Uh, since again, there's always people like, oh, why aren't you running one for one? I, I, I don't like it too much. Um, I mean, uh, Ash Blossom on it, it puts you back so much, and that's what... Uh, that, that, I don't prefer it. 
but uh, same counts for trading, like discarding level 8, but give you two draws, but if your opponent has Blossom. Uh, if you're going first and you're only opening with five cards, you're set uh, of only being able to use three. And uh, let's say if one of those three cards is a field spell, then you're left with two cards. So that's a problem, right? Malefics need more. They need some, um, some insane uh, advantage cards, that is. Anyway, so, um, well, yeah, going second and here is where, uh, like, the problem of the deck still, um, like, comes forward. Like, no field spell or no way to get through your field spell. And then you're like, okay, you could main deck. Uh, I was thinking of, well, maybe the, um, like, an invoked engine. A small, a small, one Alistair, one invocation, maybe one meltdown or whatever. Um, to somewhat give the deck more power, more negation as well. But then you're like, well... Okay, I'm playing um, Dragma, I'm playing Envoked, I'm playing Malefic. Is, is it still the Malefic deck, right? Like, why bother with Invocation or the Envoked uh, hybrid? But yeah, I mean, six potential field spell searchers are getting the field spell on the field. You have the, the Malefic Selector as well that can search out your territory. Plus the, the draw cards like a Lure of Darkness. And if you run like rank 8, they're Straden. Not really sure if we want to keep like multiple allures in a, a Traden build. It might, it might, but I'm personally not a huge fan of um, a Lure of Darkness. Especially if you're really uh, low on uh, darks, that is. Well, then again, you're running a lot of darks, but that's how it is with a lure. I mean, if you're opening with multiple lures, that's a problem. Because, I mean, you want to keep those monsters. You know you know what I, you know what I mean, right? That's a problem. Like, when, I, when I'm running like, always two or three allures, and you're opening with multiple allures, so, like, you're activating an allure, and then you, you have to banish like your only monster. And that's, that's what I wanted to say. But yeah, anyway... So the plumber problem here again, no field spell, so I can't use the level 1 to tag out and that's game. Uh, well, next turn it would have been game over. So, I mean, the, the cool gimmick of going for like um, a level 10 or level 12 synchro play, that's cool. But, I mean, that play is just much more important to um, give you two malefics in the graveyard. Um, I'm still making like the Link Rebo and Secure Guard now for the Dragma engine. It gives you the extra deck monster in the graveyard to potentially be banished off of Maximus. Um, and, um, well, yeah, it, it, at the same time, it gives you the extra deck monster on the field also, so you can special summon your level 4 Dragma one. So, that's why. But the problem is, is that, and if you're keeping up with the OCG format as well, is that the Dragma engine is, is being played into pretty much every deck, and uh, the difference now with this is, is that... Um, Players decided to drop the the, the Maximus. Uh, you know, like as you know, Maximus sends like extra deck monsters from both players uh, to the graveyard, uh, up to two or two. Yeah, you need to send two. And the thing was is that because a Dragma was so or is so popular, is that your opponent could main deck like uh, counters for your Maximus. Let's say your opponent slapping in uh, an Elder Entity Entis or maybe uh, something like Omega or whatever. Whatever, right? I mean, if your opponent uses a Maximus on you, you could send your stuff like Entis or the Preda Plant from your own extra deck to the graveyard to get those beneficial pluses. So that's like the biggest reason why players are not running Maximus in the main deck. And that might be something is that if this engine is like released, uh, our mass release, released like worldwide or whatever, uh, you know what I mean? Like in a DCG when this deck might be viable then um, it, it might be a bit risky to run Maximus. And that's the thing, is, is that Mas Maximus gives you like so many pluses, but it might be too risky. You don't want to really risk your opponent having like uh, an Entis and its extra deck. So, um, this is cool, but uh, yeah, okay, I wasn't able to get to, to, through those negations, right? I mean, the Time Lord definitely could have helped out, but Lagia negated the summon. I don't think there was a potential uh, or something to force out the early Lagia. There was the... Um, the Link Rebo, preventing like battle, battle damage, or you know, attacking with a big beat stick. There was a Conductor to put something face down, or like my, my entire monster lineup face down. There was the Overtax to negate the spell. So I, I don't think I was able to um, penetrate through that board. Again, going first, the, okay, I have the field spell face up, that's cool, but other than that, I don't think there is like a malefic uh, breakthrough here, some drag my shenanigans, and that's a, that's a thing, right? I mean, with Malefics, the like old school Malefic, you're just sitting on skill drain, multiple skill drains, and then big beat sticks. That that's like old school Malefics, and OCG still has that, and that's why I, I 
opted to go for like the Dragma build, to go for Skill Drain 2.0, if that makes sense, your Winda. But um, I mean, it's not game winning against against a lot of decks. Decks can play around it, like Dark Rule, no more impermanence. Summon a bigger monster, like Eldritch, for example. Mm. Then again, the real time to win that could win you the duel, like here. But I mean, it, it's something. It, it it just gives the deck more um, ways to prevent your opponent from playing the game. Again, if that makes sense, and that's something that Malefic still, they 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 don't have that, right? You're, I mean, OCG has triple skill drain, and that helps, but we only have one. But this is currently the build, like always, feel free to leave suggestions. It's cool, but uh, I might want to try out a more rank 8 focused build after this one. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a card or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave him signing out. Peace.